we are looking at maps and scales. Now, we are given a number scale. One is to 50,000. They say determine the actual distance from Voyeur's house to school. First thing you need to know here is that it's one unit on the map represents 50,000 unit in real life. So here you can say one centimeter on the map will represent 50 centimeters in real life. Or you can use one millimeter on the map will represent 50,000 millimeters in real life. So if we're looking at the question here, we are going from Vuya's house to school. So the first thing we need to do is go on the map and we measure Vuya's house to school and you find that we have 15 centimeters or you can use 150 millimeters. In this example, I am going to use centimeters. So I'm going to write this heading, even though it's not important, you're not going to lose marks by not writing this heading. But it makes things easier for you when you're organizing your numbers. So 1 is to 50,000, that was the given scale. Now I've measured 15 centimeters and I need to get the actual distance which I'm going to call x and I'm just going to write centimeters to remind myself here that I have put in a unit units in centimeters. Then I'm going to use my seventh method. There is two ways to do this guys. You can ask yourself how did you get from 1 to 15, you multiply by 15 on both sides. But I'm going to show you this method called the seventh method. And the reason why I like it, because it works for a bar scale and it also works for a number scale, it's easier to use this method because you don't have to do a lot of steps. So this method is called the seventh method. And the reason why it's called the seventh method is because we draw a seven using the knowledge of, multi of cross multiplication. So we're going to start at 15 and we're going to cross to 50,000, cross multiply with 50,000. And then the second step is we're going to divide by 1. Won't we'll make a difference when you divide by 1, but you need to know this method this way so that when we have a number to divide by that will actually change the answer, then we know what to do. So we'll have x is equal to the black part is 15 times by 50,000. And then the blue part, we said divided by 1. Right, and then the answer that you're going to get would be 750,000 what? Centimeters. Yes, centimeters, because remember, we had centimeters here. So we'll get our answer in centimeters. Once we are done with this, we then have to then convert, convert to kilometers because our actual distance usually is either in meters or in kilometers. So we go ahead and we use a method of conversions. We know we'll have kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. We'll have three stars for 1,000, two stars for 100, and one star for 10. So if I'm going now from centimeters to kilometers, it means I'm going to divide. And But if I was moving forward, I was going to multiply. So what happens is, how are you going to remember this? When you're moving forward, just like you're reading a sentence, you multiply, right? And when you're moving backwards, you divide. So we are going to say now x continues to be 750 centimeters. Then we're going to divide. We are going to divide by how many stars are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 1 and 5 zeros. Then you're going to get your answer as 7,5 kilometers. All right, moving on. Here, guys, this is why I like the seventh method, because in this case, if you're looking at this question, they are giving us the actual distance, which is 650 kilometers, and then they want the map measurement. 
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to con convert the 650 kilometers and we need to convert it to centimeters because it's easier to use a number scale using smaller units like centimeters than kilometers. But it doesn't mean that you're not going to get an answer if you continue with kilometers. So we are going to say, okay, 650 kilometers and you want to move it to centimeters, right? And then, so we go ahead and we use our diagram here at the bottom. Three stars, two stars, one star. So we are moving from kilometers to centimeters. So we are moving forward. That means we're gonna multiply, but multiply by what? We're gonna multiply by one and five zeros because we have five stars. So we will have, 650 kilometers times by 100,000, and then we're going to get our answer. We get our answer at 65 million centimeters, right? And then we go ahead and we do our calculations. So we change the color, we'll have map as to reality. Then we'll have 1 is to 2,500,000. 2 Just fix my 5 there. Okay, now what do you have? You have this that you want to put in. And what is this? This is the actual distance, right? So you're going to put 65 million there. And then you'd have x. Here comes the seventh method. You are going to cross multiply with this. That's your first step. And then the second step means then you'd have to divide. So you'd have to divide this. Okay. So you'd have x as follows. You'd have x is equal to the black part, 65 million. And then the red part, okay, black part, 65 million times by one. And then the red part, you divide, divide by 2,500,000. And then you just put that in the calculator as it is, and you should get your answer as 26. 26 what? We put in centimeters, we are going to get centimeters, and that's your answer. Now, let's look at if they give you both. They give you map measurements, and then they also give you the actual distance, and they actually want you to work out the scale. How do we do this? We are going to have map is to reality. On the map, it's five centimeters. In reality, we have 125 kilometers. Now, we know that for a number scale, for example, if I have one is to 50,000, this means it's one unit on the map represents 50 units in real life. So one centimeter on the map will represent 50,000 centimeters in real life. This is what it means. So that means if I have centimeters here, that means here I also have to have centimeters. And that's what we're trying to achieve here, right? So the first thing that we need to do is convert the reality measurement into centimeters. So I'll have five centimeters here, but this one now I convert it to centimeters. That means I'd have to multiply by 100,000. So if I multiply by 100,000, I have 12,500,000, 500,000 centimeters. Now I'm sorted because on my left hand side, I have centimeters. My right hand side, I have centimeters. Now, what do I need to do? I'm going to divide by five because I want a one here. So I want one is to something. And I'm, when I do this side, I would have to do this side, divide by five as well. And if I divide by 5 centimeters on both sides, then I will get 1 is to 2,500,000.
and that's our answer.